The Palestinian Islamic Jihad resistance movement says Israel has lost its deterrence against Iran as evidenced by the Islamic Republic's unprecedented drone and missile strike in the occupied territories. Israel's deterrence in the face of Iran has ended, the Islamic Jihad's deputy chief, Mohammed al-Hindi, said in an interview with Lebanon's Al-Mayadeen. Iran's armed forces launched hundreds of drones and missiles towards the occupied territories on Saturday night in response to a deadly Israeli attack on its diplomatic premises in Syria early this month. On Tuesday, the Israeli regime's war cabinet convened for the fifth time since Sunday to weigh its options vis-à-vis -vis the Iranian strike. Al-Hindi underscored that Iran's retaliatory attack served as a preliminary warning to the Israeli occupation. Iranian officials assert that the strike, dubbed Operation True Storm, was a deliberately limited military action meant to punish Israel warning that any counter-attack would be met with a swift and decisive response. The balance of power is changing. America has its own problems and challenges, and Israel does not have the support or capabilities to assert dominance in the region, Al-Hindi said. There are new rules of engagement today, he added. The Palestinian official also criticized the complicity of the West in Israel's atrocities in Gaza, signaling the need for reassessments in the new geopolitical landscape of the region. Addressing the issue of captives held by Hamas in Gaza, Al-Hindi emphasized the resistance's leverage in negotiations and expressed skepticism about a proposal recently presented by mediators. The Americans and Israelis want to retrieve the captives at the lowest possible price, but that issue is the trump card in our hands, he said. The Islamic Jihad official said the resistance has submitted its response to the proposal, insisting that the withdrawal of Israeli occupation forces and a ceasefire are the pivotal components of any agreement. The Israeli regime must be forced to pay a price through a potential deal as it has suffered strategic military failures on the battleground, he noted. Israel is facing a real impasse and its options are limited, the official said. It has grown to appear weaker and its strategic importance has diminished. Authorities in the besieged Gaza Strip say the Palestinian children the Israeli regime recently freed have recounted instances of physical abuse, torture, and deliberate starvation. In a statement released on Tuesday, Gaza's government media office said the testimonies include accounts from children younger than 12. The accounts underscore extreme torture, mistreatment, and cases of medical neglect. The office called on rights groups and the international community to take action in respect of the horrifying testimonies. These testimonies from the affected individuals prove yet again the monstrosity of this criminal army. It is yet another example of how it violates international and humanitarian laws as it continues committing war crimes and genocide against our people in Gaza, the office stated. According to multiple reports, corroborated by the Palestinian Health Ministry as well as the Defense for Children International DCI NGO, one child is being killed in Gaza every 10 minutes. Aid agencies have warned that nowhere and no one is safe under Israel's relentless onslaught.